Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel and this series of videos in how to play basic percussion and especially these uh, first videos have all been about independence rhythms how to play two rhythms that are that sound completely independent of each other but play them at the same time and today we're going to look at um, the conga rit rhythm that we've been doing uh, which has been this Middle Eastern ostinato pattern goes like this For those of you who've seen the previous videos, you know that we've put some embellishments on that, slaps, moving them around. So played fully, it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, what we're going to look at today is that three rhythm. One, two, three. All right. Now, even though this is a Middle Eastern um, ostinato pattern that's played on a variety of hand drums, um, it's also half of a clave pattern. And the clave is very much um, Latin American. Okay, so two sides of the world, and yet they use this basis um, of a rhythm, okay? The clave, um, which in Spanish means key, is pretty much the key to folkloric Latin American rhythms. You will have heard it before, even if you don't know what it was, you will have heard it and you will recognize it. A clave, which starts with the three, which is what we've done with the conga pattern, one, two, three, Okay, goes like this, and it's got a three, and then it goes to a two. One, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two. Again, going back to a previous video when I was talking about tension and release, you get this very much um, in the clave pattern. One, two, three is the tension. One, two is the release. Okay, so that's what we call a 3 2 clave. So it will go 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. So that's a 3 2 clave pattern. Obviously, because with the three that start with it, then it's in unison with the conga pattern. One, two, three. Okay? The second bit goes uh, uh, one, two, three. Because you've got the three and the two. Okay? Put it together, the whole three, two clave pattern on the cowbell with the conga pattern, it will sound like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we start with the unison and then it splits into the independence. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. Okay, so <clears throat> there are a variety of different clave patterns. The main two that um, we use, especially when we're playing uh, pop music and putting a Latin flavour in, is the three two clave one two three one two and then you just reverse it so it goes one two one two three one two one two three so against a beat it will sound like this one two three four one and two one two three one two one two three one two one two three one two one two three 
So, because we've reversed the cowbell pattern, the clave, it will start against the conga pattern and then it will finish in unison with the conga pattern. Okay, so the two, three clave with the conga will sound like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, so one and two, one, two, three. So there you've got the two main clave patterns. Again, if you were going to be traditional and playing for chloric music, you wouldn't change that pattern. If, it, if the clave starts with a three, two, it's three, two all the way. Okay, again, if it starts with a two, three, it's two, three for the whole song. In pop, it's, it can be changed, okay? So you might play one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. And then in the chorus, the guitar might be playing rhythm, you think, oh, that fits. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. That's fine. If you're not playing traditional folkloric uh, Latin American music, you're fine, okay? So, here is a two, three again with the conga pattern. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three. 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 And the three, two. So, it doesn't really matter with this, but because we've done it with all the other videos, we'll do it. Um, we'll put the drum groove on so you can hear it uh, played with a, a, a rhythm back beat, and this is what it will sound like. So, one, two, one, three, two to start with. Swap it and we'll put the two, three in. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three. 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 So there you have two clave patterns the three two one two three one two and the two three one two one two three and you'll hear how that fits in unison with the ostinato conga pattern okay or that the three does so you've got um, a very very traditional and dominant latin american rhythm on the cowbell played against a Middle Eastern um, ostinato pattern uh, on the conga or any hand drum. And I just find it fascinating that these two rhythms are so steeped in history in the particular styles of music. Two uh, different parts of the world and yet it works together, the power of music. Okay, so hopefully you enjoy this. And if you have, please press the like button, subscribe to the channel, that'd be fantastic, would really appreciate that. Um, seeing as though we're still in these strange, wonderful times, stay safe, um, keep healthy, 
and I shall see you very shortly. Okay, take care. All the best. Bye-bye.